Hi guys! Welcome in to the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I am Vicki. Uh, today is going to be ornaments. We're just doing ornaments again. I'm um, going to be using shower curtain rings. Shower curtain rings. So I'm just going to briefly go over some of the things we're going to be doing uh, or using um, and then we'll jump in and get started. Like I said, we're, I, I got a package of these and there is 12 in here. So it's 12, package, uh, 12 rings. Um, but you don't have to use these um, bracelets, it would work too, if you find like a package of the kids bracelets or anything, like in the party pack or something like that, this would work really good for those too. Um, we're going to be using some twine, uh, I haven't decided yet what ribbon I want to use, but I've got a handful of different kinds of ribbons. Um, I've got some berries, and all different kinds of berries, I'm not sure what kind of, again, I'm going to use on this too, and i got some greens. I um, also got me some baby pine cones. Absolutely love these. Um, I get my pine cones out in nature and so forth. Um, they do have, if you look at Dollar Tree and um, the, the craft stores and stuff, you do have the smaller ones you can buy too in the packages. Uh, so keep your eye out for those. And then um, I may add things, I may delete things, you never know, so stay tuned and keep on watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know um, if there's things in here you would change and what things you would change uh, when you make your own. Let me know in the description so I can kind of see everybody else's different ideas. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is the, is the ring. So we're going to take these shower curtain rings. Um, I want to make sure mine's hooked together. I don't want it to come apart on me. So you just lock them in place so they're together. And this is totally really, really super simple and easy. We're just going to take our twine and wrap it. That is all we are going to do. So easy. Um, I think I'm going to actually tie it to start it. Just to get me started here. The only bad thing about this is I don't know how much I'm going to need and I can't, this is too big to actually stick in the ring. Um, you know, we may end up needing more, but uh, we're going to just Start wrapping. And uh, usually the, the bigger the string, the better off you're going to be. Um, you don't have to glue at the same time if you don't want to, but if you want to throw some glue on there, uh, it couldn't hurt to help hold it together because this is a plastic ring, so you may want to do that. Look at that, you guys. I almost guessed pretty close to being right on this. I guessed really good the first time. I am pretty impressed with that. That was probably about, I'd say about two feet, maybe about three feet of, of cord to get that all the way around. I absolutely love that. That worked out perfect. Okay, from there um, we have our ring completely wrapped so it doesn't look like shower curtain ring anymore. 
Um, and you know what? You can use yarn. You can use whatever you want to wrap this if you want, like ribbon um, or, a, you know, different colored cord. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be the jute. Um, it's just something that I like the look of. Uh, so that's kind of something that I went with. I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I've got this smaller, thinner jute um, from the Dollar Tree, the crafter section. Um, it is a thinner a thinner jute. And I was thinking uh, this is what I'm going to use to make the ornament string. I always, for my ornament strings, um, just as a rule of thumb, I do 8 inches. I always cut an 8 inch strand. Of, of twine or string or whatever I'm going to be using and that's what I that's what I do um, my uh, ornament string size is always eight inches just a good rule of thumb that I like to do because it doesn't need to be super long but you know what now that I think about it I did this but that's not how I wanted um, Normally, I would be okay with that because um, that would be a perfect size. I just remembered um, I wanted to do my string, I wanted to attach this way. So, I'm going to need, you know, live and learn. Um, I'm going to need a little bit longer. Sorry, I'll save that for a different project. Let's go with. Um, since we're going to wrap that around. So that's like my 8 inches. I'm going to go... Let's go with the 10 inches. Let's try 10 inches and see how that looks. So this is why I um, like to... Real crafting so I can show you my thought process and how I think about things. So you know what's all involved here. Again, we're just tying a knot here at the end. Now you can make the decision on do you want your knot to show or not to show. That is totally up to you. Um, if you want it to show, just pull the knot portion of it to the top. If you do not want it to show, you want to go ahead and make this bottom portion of it here and you pull through this way and try and keep this together here and then your knot stays down here and that's perfect size that's perfect size that doesn't need to be any more than that um, any more than that it's just kind of a waste of string so there we go perfect and it's perfect so when you you put your hook or your branch it lines up perfectly and it's secure okay so go with 10 inches I went with 10 inches on this just so you know 10 inches you may have to adjust depending on your thickness of your of your cord like I said I use this really a lot thinner uh, if I was to use the thicker like where I wrapped it with um, I would probably almost go to 11 inches because the thickness on it is going to make a difference. Um, just kind of something, th something to think about on that. All right, so let's just take our little greenery. I was kind of looking at this, and this is kind of too big. Too big for this project. have this greenery that's on a wire it's it's pine on a wire it, it, it doesn't really have a name as far as what it's called it was from Hobby Lobby it comes in this bundle uh, around Christmas time only it's the only time you can find it I like to kind of rough it up a little bit because it does come kind of flat but um, look at how perfect that is when we lay that on top of that it's perfect so I kind of want probably about this much here. So probably about so would say that's what three inches. It's probably about three inches that I cut there. 
And we can put that right up here, like so. Perfect. I mean, these are something that's really, really simple and easy. Um, you can, um, like I said, if you get 12 of these things, and you can just sit on the couch and watch your favorite uh, Hallmark and uh, sit there and wrap all of these and then put them together for perfect little um, perfect little gift exchange or uh, you know to decorate a bag that would be so cute um, we're going to take our little pine cones oh, wait, wait wait first um, let's, let's put some little let's put some little um, these guys on here I like to have some little berries in my project. I'll lay these back here so it's a little bit hidden. Cut that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of rest it back here so they just kind of it hides the stem a little bit on it. Because I, I really do want them. So I just kind of laid them in there. So then on the front, you just see the little berry part. Just do the same on the other side. Now I'm not doing it right here because I'm actually, I want to put a ribbon. I want to do a little little bow right here that kind of can dangle down a little bit. Um, but I was kind of thinking on actually dangling down some pine cones. Um, these are the ones from um, Dollar Tree. They came in a little bag um, and then they're kind of, they have a little bit of glitter on them. I'm not a huge fan of the glitter on them, but um, we'll work with it. Um, and I was kind of thinking, I'm just dangling them down. I think that would be kind of cute. So let's just glue them to the end of some twine here. Gosh, can I find some that aren't so blurry? Sorry, the glitter part is kind of bugging me a little bit here. This one's not as glittery. I wonder if I want two. I just want, yeah, let's do two. Now the question becomes, do I want, I do want to dangle it down, but do I want to put them, oh. I think I can glue this to the same string here. gluing it so they're attached to the same string together. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird on there. It'll be fine. But you don't have to do pine cones. Um, I just kind of like mine to be a little rustic-y looking. 
Um, but you could do whatever you want here in the center, or you don't have to do anything in the center at all. If you don't want to do anything in the center, you could just put a simple bow on it and call it a day. It's totally up to you. Again, it's your project. them to kind of dangle down I'm going to start the glue on the very back tip here but I kind of want it to be more underneath. So we're going to start them there. Then I want to glue underneath here. So that they dangle underneath. Perfect. All right. Now, on there. Now it's time for a bow. Time for a little bow right here. And I'm thinking to go with something simple. I've got this little. Or do I want? To try it with this. We're gonna try it with this. This was, uh, I believe, from Hobby Lobby, is typically where I get a lot of my ribbon from. We're just gonna grab it here with our thumb and pinky. Decide how far apart I want my ribbon or my bow to be. Two, three, we're gonna go four. Four times around this time. Come back around. Pinch it. Pull our tails down in front here. Gonna use another piece. Tie it off near the center. We have enough here to double knot this. Trim. Sometimes my bows don't always like to cooperate with what I want them to do. <laughs> All right, and then stick that right up in here. I'm just keeping it very simple. tails to be a little long. Alright. Got strings and things going on. Perfect. Perfect for the, like I said, for a tree or for, um, you know, to decorate a bag. You know, gift exchange. You know, let me know what you think. 
what, what part of it would you change? What color would you use for your ribbon? Let me know. And uh, keep on coming back and watching some more videos here at the Purple Penguin Craft Room. Happy crafting.